Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. So, uh, thank you so much for the awesome feedback on the latest uh, video, on my tutorial video, how to make a OBS live stream. Uh, it did very well, I got a lot of good feedback and a lot of questions. So, I'm trying to answer some of those in this today's video. So, uh, some people can't get the screen to show it's just like this and some people don't know uh, how to do a lot of sound stuff and different overlay thumbnails and stuff but mainly I wanna just fix all these problems in today's video and I will try to help you uh, solve your problems so first off I will explain you how you can start OBS as an administrator because or if you don't start OBS with administrator Grotopia will not show up and yeah that's one of the biggest problems so I will show you how you can start a program with administrator so now I have OBS here uh, this is probably the icon you have on your desktop it's quite simple how you start it with administrator you just right click and right here with the shield uh, you don't know what it says because it's in Norwegian uh, but this right here it says run as administrator so just click that hit yes and yeah you're ready to go it should work and it works all the time for me second how do I mute my mic uh, how do I do that stuff and add music so it's quite simple as well you see right here with these green bars you have this cool speaker icons over on the right side you can click those and you will mute and unmute uh, yeah that's how to mute and unmute and also how do I add music so that's also quite simple you just go to a playlist I use this one uh, just search on SoundCloud I won't recommend you playing on a playlist on YouTube because you get ads and yeah here you don't get any ads so I just start playing the music adjust the volume here or here this is the desktop sound this is the microphone and you can adjust these after how much volume would you you would like to have so if I take this far up you see this green bar it's going to be really loud if I put it here it's pretty okay so that's how to do that and to make overlay is the last thing I'm going to teach you this is just going to be a short video teaching you how to do how to do all these uh, fixes <clears throat> and yeah so for overlay I use a program called GIMP um, just download that it's just like Photoshop um, but it's a little bit simpler and uh, it's free so I, I will recommend you using GIMP so this is the GIMP startup just search on GIMP on Google and you will find it <clears throat> when GIMP starts up you will get a window that looks something like this and to make the overlay you have to make the size of it the size of your monitor I have a 19 I have 1920 by 1080 and that's why I write that that's the size of my monitor so if you don't know the size you will have to find out um, yeah I will not teach you that but you can find tutorials on how to find your monitor size now <clears throat> I just clicked on this button right here or I just right click in here add a new layer and now I have this blank thing uh, where you can draw these squared uh, lines or boxes they are alpha so if I draw this and I save the picture the background will be transparent so only this will show it's quite, it's quite helpful so yeah first off I'm going to go inside Grotopia log in and I will take a picture of my screen so I can draw on top of my Grotopia so I will just go to my main world I will move this to about three layers or three lines because that's what I use or 
that was I found out where's the best three lines here then click print screen go over to GIMP and hold control and press V now you have this pasted in as a layer now all you gotta do is make a new layer and yeah you can start drawing on top of this and you can remove this la layer after and you will have the overlay so I'm going to use this tool right here it's a selection tool select about here underneath this uh, text box because maybe you don't want anyone to see what you're trying to write you could just fill this in but I like to have like this sort of gradient effect so for this I'm just going to use blue colors and this is the place where you can select colors I'll select some kind of blue and fade uh, blue okay so now this is what color you're going to use if I press so the blue is there dark blue um, the dark blue oh wait if I select the dark blue that then I'm going to draw with dark blue if I change these I'm going to draw with dark bright blue <laughs> so now I will just use this tool right here it's called blend tool now just hold uh, down drag down here and release and you will have this some kind of gradient effect you can also do it from for further down to find the best uh, that works for you okay about here looks perfect so now you have the box and you have everything <clears throat> now I'll just add a text over here where it says really I'll change the text this is just like any other writing program you have this color you have this size you have fat text you have yeah everything so it's just the same you should know this from maybe writing on word now I use this tool it's the alignment tool this is used just click on the thing you're going to move uh, for now it's the text click on the center tool this can be used to al align everything and yeah it's really good to get it in the center now we have text and we have the overlay itself now I'm just going to add some shadow so for that hold, click on filters lighten shadow drop shadow change this to 2 this to, to 2 and this to 30 this is for the best shadow and just hit ok mm. now to repeat that you just hold or click filters or hold, hover over no you have to click it click repeat drop shadow now you will drop another shadow so yeah now this looks good I will also drop shadow just hit the layer with this overlay and I will drop shadow there as well okay now you can see that there's a small border around and you don't want that so <clears throat> this is everything I'm going to use you can also add more text like subscribers world uh, I'm not going to do that because it's just the same as this and I kinda want to start streaming in a minute so yeah I'm doing this tutorial quite fast now you can see that this is not 1920 by 1080 anymore it's 1980 by 1108 how do I fix that yeah it's quite simple remember now remove the Growtopia layer okay you don't want that because then it's going to be a pain to get get that removed now when you have this done you have to hold Control M to merge the layers okay do that after removing the Growtopia picture merge select here here just all the way down yeah looks good Control C to copy click on file make a new one with the correct size 1080 by 1920 a new one just delete this layer and paste the layer in now you have everything set to go this is the right size and it's finished now just click file 
export as and save the picture now you have a perfect overlay and now you can just add that as an image in OBS and yeah you're done so I hope this fixed some of your problems just hit me up if you still have some problems and I hope this helped you as much as possible thank you so much for watching and leave a like leave a comment and I'll see you later in a stream or a video